Hello, this is JC Santana coming to you from the Institute of Human Performance, and we are talking about context and context and the history and the wisdom of our very, very simple, straightforward training methodology and our evaluations, which are really not. They're our favorite exercises that improve certain characteristics, so why not use those exercises to evaluate the characteristics? Remember, the test has to be the exercise, the exercise has to be the test, so everything, and everything is related to the function, right? So here we go. Today we uh, had a, a team meeting and we talked about this. You can see the full version of what you're going to see here in our Checkmate video, all right? Checkmate video, which is, here's in simple words, how we use our evaluations to sell personal training. How about that? No science, no big words, here it is. But you're selling with truth, you're selling with wisdom, you're selling with education and facts. You're not selling with research and you're not selling with bullshit. Got it? All right, so here we go. Anterior reach and single leg squat. We have those two movements. Why? To improve locomotion and to assess locomotion. All right, so you put a typical right-hander on the right leg and you think that's their strong leg. No, that's their kicking leg. But on a right-hander, 95% of the time, their left leg is a strong one because the left leg is the base leg while the right leg is kicking, right? So, little trick, you tell somebody, get on one leg, whatever leg they choose, usually it's a strong leg. On a right-hander, let's say that uh, they get uh, with the right leg, they do either, either one, anterior reach or single leg squat. Let's say they do, they do two before they fall off or they wiggle or they look terrible. And on the left side, they give you four beautiful ones. On, a, on, the, on the right side, they give you two, and then they, they get ugly. So you go, okay, two to four. So obviously, I see which leg is strongest, okay? All right, so you got a strong leg. So what? So what? How are you going to translate that, that obvious, because they start laughing and giggling, like, wow, I can't control it. Yeah, what does that mean? Why do you need me? What am I going to do for you? Boom, there it is. Here's how you explain it. Let's say this is an athlete that runs that changes directions and decelerates for a living. Soccer player, racquetball player, tennis player, basketball player, runner, obviously, whatever, right? Okay, you go, look, my man, or young lady, you obviously have a big discrepancy in one leg and the other, which all of them will. So let's say your stride, okay, on when you plant your right leg, it's not gonna send you that far forward, it sends you two feet, okay? When you plant your left, it's a little bit stronger, significantly stronger, so it sends you 2.75 feet. So your total stride length is 4.75 feet per stride. These are just fictitious numbers, but they're kind of close, okay? They're realistic, right? At two weeks out, as you're doing anterior reaches with the right and left, right and left, and you're getting better and better and better and better, I mean, and that improves really quick. Two weeks out, you may make a little improvement here because this is your strong one, you make a much bigger improvement here because this is your weak one. Your weak one will advance much faster. Wow, your stride length goes to 5.4 feet. Ooh, already, what happens in a 5K when this happens? With no extra VO2, no extra running, no nothing. You're getting three quarters of a foot, let's say, roughly, right? Yeah, more, more than, than, than that, quarter, yeah. About three quarters of a foot, you're getting per stride, what happens with 1,600 strides? Boom. Two weeks in, 2.5 to nine, it goes up to 5.4. Four weeks in, 2.75, look at that. Big difference, but well, not so much because this one is strong. But it's evening out at 5.75. You've already advanced an entire foot during a stride. 1,600 strides, 10,000 strides, what happens? Big difference, okay? And then at six weeks out, let's say that this one has improved an 50%, all right? And this one's just barely improved, maybe 30%. You're at 6-1, all right? So look at this improvement. So to a runner, you're just gonna say, look at what's happening, okay? To a person changing direction, let's say you're a tennis player. I'm going, if you're this guy, all right, I'm gonna lob it to your right, because when you plant your right side, you're not changing directions to the left. All right, so I'm gonna give you something short to your left, long to your right, okay? So when you go over there, you gotta slam with the, left, with, with the right foot and then come back with the right foot and I'm gonna catch you every time, okay? If you're changing directions, I know where you're fast, where you're not fast, and if you're a swinging athlete, if you're right-handed 
and your right is weak, well, guess what? Your backswing side is weak. I'm going to say I can add more acceleration to your golf swing or your batting, uh, batting uh, speed, okay? If you're strong on your right side and weak on the left side, I'm going to say, hey, you're plenty strong here, but you can't use it because you don't have any brakes. Let's get you better brakes so you can use more of the strength you already have. This is a very, very, very small window into the context of these very basic exercises that we have. We have eight exercises, anterior reach, single leg squat, bilateral squat, alternating lunges, push-up, recline pulls, rotations with uh, pivots and rotations without pivots. Each one is a simple exercise, okay? Each one improves one of the four pillars. Each one you could see in a book, you can uh, see in a video, right? but each one has a huge amount of history, contextual history that you need to know so you can start applying to all of these different situations. So check out our Checkmate video. It's gonna show you how we look at all eight movements and apply this kind of logic with English and be able to explain it to a parent, be able to explain it to a professional athlete or be able to explain it to a high school or college athlete, all right? And that, in essence, will sell your services based on your expertise and wisdom, which is context. And I got no loading. So I got a way to blast this guy like that with no vertical loading on the lumbar spine, nothing on the neck, nothing on the external rotation, nothing on equipment. I can take this guy to the park and beat his ass. I need a gym for this guy. Plus, he needs to learn how to squat. I gotta make sure he's spotted. Yeah, to get the yeah, and then risk the fact of things happening along the spine over years. How cool is this?